Hello and welcome to erpwebtutor.com. This is Ari Deep. And in the previous tutorial, uh, we talked about uh, creating a key flex field. We have created a test structure for the job key flex field. And we had previously used uh, two value sets. So in this tutorial, we'll talk about uh, how to create value sets and how to add values uh, to the value set. So as the term suggests, value set so it's a set of values and it can be associated with a per, uh, with any segment uh, inside the flex field. So what will happen is that when we try to add some data to that segment, it will have a list of values associated with it. And that list will be generated uh, based on the value set attached to that segment. So if we remember in the previous tutorial, we had copied the demo us job code and the demo us job name the two flex uh, two value sets used in the two segments so in this tutorial we will see uh, how we define the value set and how we have added the data to these value sets so for value sets the navigation is again system administrator application validation set so in the set, we will actually just name the value set. And then in the values, you will add values to that set. So let's go to set. And in this case, we already have the value set defined. So we will just uh, look at the setups or the entries that we have made for this particular value set. Again, we will query for this value set. We will go to the query mode, which is F11. We will paste the value set name and hit Control F11. And this is how we have defined. So we see we have entered the value set name. Uh, we are not using the usages button at this moment. Uh, description, you can definitely add something here. Uh, it's not a required field. All the ones that are kind of yellowish are required fields that you have to enter something there. And uh, the ones that are not yellow are optional. So the list type is the one that decides what kind of uh, values will be there. So it's, it's a list of values. So it's pretty simple. The security type, and you can, uh, when you have an instance, uh, you can see what different options you have. Uh, the list of values is the one that normally uh, you, you're going to use in any implementation. And then security type, you can add securities to your value set. But again, most of the time, uh, you're going to have the security type as no security. And in this case, the format validation, you can have the format uh, of the values that you can enter. So in this case, it's a number. So you can see that the maximum size is 3. So you can max uh, maximum you can have a three digit number you, you cannot have 1000 so the so the codes for or the values for these uh, would range from uh, 000 to 999 and you can see it's it says numbers only zero to nine you also have uh, other options when we look at the the job name you will see that it's, it has a different format type and then again uh, the value validation is independent. So once we define this as independent, we can use this value set and create an independent values. Uh, you can definitely have other uh, validation types like dependent, uh, table. Uh, the most commonly used would be uh, independent, where you define a set of values. Or you can also have dependent value set, which would uh, force the user to choose the value of the first uh, segment in order to get the list of values for the, the dependent value set. Uh, if you're using a table, uh, you can actually uh, use a query from a table and uh, use the query to generate the list of values for that value set. Uh, in this case, uh, we're going to use independent. We will have uh, separate notes uh, uh, published on the website and we'll have detailed uh, a description about uh, different kinds of value sets and we, that will be really helpful. So in this case, we're trying to, keeping it, uh, trying to keep it simple 
uh, we will just have the independent value set we will add values uh, this is uh, of course a tutorial for beginners and once you are familiar with these terms and once you practice these you can definitely uh, take the next step towards uh, using complex uh, definitions and using uh, the, the more difficult tasks so this is the demo us job code so let, let's also take a look at the demo us job name and see what uh, we have there uh, same thing we did we went to the query mode we pasted and we uh, executed the query uh, pressing control f11 so you see that the, the top part is kind of simple the same as the us job code the list of values no security and the format type is character and with the maximum size of 30 so you can have uh, CEO which is three character you cannot have something which is longer than 30 I mean if you need to you can have to you know modify these uh, since it is character of course uh, it can have number as well so it, it does not have any check box checked here and again the same the validation type is independent and we are going to definitely take a look at the values that we have associated with this so let's go to the values now uh, for the values it's the same navigation uh, system administrator application validation values and when we open the values uh, screen uh, it it's going to prompt uh, give me this fine screen and here i need to enter the value set name uh, let's take a look at the first one such so as demo us job code and say fine So we see here, uh, these are the values that we have uh, added to this value set. The values 100, 102, 103, 105, all these uh, numbers. Uh, if you remember, uh, just we just mentioned that before, it is a three digit number. Let's see what happens when you try to enter a four digit. Value is longer than its maximum length of three characters. So it stops me from entering four numbers. Also, if we try to enter characters, it's not a valid number. So we can only have three digit number, period. So let's clear this. Uh, we can also have a description added to it, uh, but in this case, we don't have it. Uh, this is again, trying to keep things very simple for beginners to understand and get a feel of Oracle Labs. Uh, we will have more tutorials covering the, the more difficult aspects of it. So let's go back again to the find screen. Uh, you can click on this torch symbol here to go to the find screen from any of the screens. Uh, the find screen for this particular screen. And so if you click here, you're gonna get the find screen again. Uh, but okay, this find screen seems to be for the values so let's go back to the value set find screen again we got to go to values again we query for our second value set which is demo us job name and say find so these are the values for the us job name accounting clerk uh, ceo cfo director director of finance so these are the different job names that we have stored. Again, uh, this was 30 characters. So if you try to add something, uh, let's, let's try to add something here. This is for our test job. And let's see how it appears. Test job. So the translated value appears. Uh, let's have a description. This is for the training video. And let's say, let's save it. Uh, of course, uh, the funny thing here is that you cannot delete an entry from this list. As you can see that the delete button is disabled. So if you don't want a job, let's say the company has retired a particular job position or a job description. So 
what you're going to do is that in order to prevent the users from selecting that job you got you can actually disable this so let's go back to our uh, job screen and we will see the test job which is now enabled is going to appear and then once we will disable it we will see that how it doesn't appear so let's go back to the job screen again and for that we have to switch responsibilities so once we close this it's going to compile the hierarchy in this case we don't have but it's still going to submit the request in the background and uh, uh, do its own processes so again let's go back to our a demo us hrms manager once we are uh, on the demo us super hrms manager responsibility we need to go to uh, work structures job description uh, once we have the jobs this is a new job that we're trying to create uh, this is our demo corp job group that we're going to use and once we click on the name it actually brings us the, the flex field structure so we have job code and the job name and one thing we need to remember here is that uh, for any flex field the combination of the two segments uh, is unique so that's very important that's that's the, the key thing for a key flex field so this combination of the values uh, has to be unique. So in this case, uh, we already have a job defined in the system as 100 dot uh, CEO. So 100 is the job code and CEO is the job name. So if we do this and try to say OK, and uh, if we try to save it, it says that the job you have entered already exists in this business group please enter a unique name for your job so if i just say 100 and something else i can create the job so let's in this case we use the job name as the test that we just created test job this is for the training video so we say okay and now we have a unique combination so if we try to save it now it's going to save it successfully. I believe so. Okay. So what I believe was right. See, it's transaction complete, one records applied and saved. But we are going to delete it because we're going to see when it's, it's not enabled, what's going to happen. So let's delete this job. Do you want to delete this record? Yes. And let's save it. Don't forget to save it because even though it doesn't appear on the screen, if you don't click the save, it's not really committing to the database. So now let's go back again to the system administrator uh, application uh, validation values. And I believe our this is the value set name that we had and the one that we added is test so this is the one so now if we uncheck this enabled save it the same thing happens any changes you make to the screen it's going to compile and then again go back to the hrms responsibility work structures, job, description, new job, this is the job group, job code let's say 100 and now take a look at this list we don't have the test job anymore so basically what happens is you cannot delete the information that you have entered on a value on, on the values you know the value screen for the value set but you can disable it so that it cannot be used so that's all we have for this tutorial 
so in this tutorial we talked about uh, how to have the value sets defined and how to add values to the value set so and also we saw that okay this the job key flex field the the structure that we defined for the demo job flex field where we had the two segments having uh, the two value sets that we just uh, showed you uh, how we added those values to the value sets and how we created jobs using those values and those jobs created can be added uh, to the employee in the particular business group so i think uh, we will try to end it here and in the next tutorial we'll talk about uh, more uh, details on the job uh, flex fields and in the future tutorials we'll definitely have more stuff so i hope you enjoyed it and wait for more tutorials to come thank you